understand that doing the opposite of what most people do is what's going to lead to the to most success in your life in general terms. So when you see everybody else working to make their life easier, more convenient, less frustrating, basically looking to cut all the hard things out of their life, look at the rest of their life. That should be an indication to you that maybe you need to look at life a little bit different. When you really get after something, listen to me, total immersion in something, you can become unbelievably proficient at it. You'll get unbelievable at getting people to believe you believe it. You will be loaded with certainty from product knowledge to belief to skills, and you'll be completely immersed with, I believe, no B plan. No other plan, no nothing out, completely immersed in it. Aside from dunking a basketball or hitting a 100 mile an hour fastball, these are things that are limitations to human beings. But average ordinary people every single day succeed in the business of persuading people. There is no limitation to you being able to do it except those things. Good fighter is not necessarily the greatest fighter that ever lived, it's what, where you want to go. You know what I mean? Um, a good fighter just to be diligent and committed and disciplined, doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. You know, always testing yourself and forcing yourself to the limits. And one of the things that I see people do is they don't understand that you should actually be seeking out the proper obstacles that are going to teach you the lesson and embrace them so that you can be better. Because, dude, we can talk about and whine about and cry about everything in our lives, but there's only one thing that's going to change it, and that's actually taking action towards the place that you want to go. What you put in will produce the output. There's so many individuals out there that are so talented in different things that never accomplish anything. Okay, the world is filled with talented people. You know a lot of them yourselves. Okay, and they never accomplish anything. With talent has to come preparation, has to come action, has to come development of being able to take those talents, take those skills, continue to develop them, continue to sharpen them physically, continue to sharpen them mentally, because at some point, your physical talent is going to diminish as a professional athlete. That's just a fact, okay? But what keeps that competitive edge, what keeps you on top, is the ability to think and prepare mentally over and over and over again. The body has limitations, the mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. Everything starts from there. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. And that's where the preparation starts. I firmly believe that everybody in this room, everybody on this planet, has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. So when you see a, a situation that's difficult and you see a situation that you know other people don't want to do, you should maybe be the person who steps up to that and says, dude, I'm willing to do that because I learned this. I'm willing to take on that because I'm willing to get the skill. Um, I'm going to endure this adversity because I know it's going to make me stronger. All right, so look at these as an opportunity for you to grow as opposed to something that you should run away from because it's gonna be difficult. This is something that champions and successful people, people who are great at what they do and live great lives that bring other people up do automatically. Embrace your adversity and look for opportunities to get better and grow.